So in this video, I'll provide an update on Neptune Digital Assets, a crypto proxy, and also analyze the chart right after. This is the press release from October 25th, 2024 for Neptune Digital Assets. The ticker is NDA on the TSX Venture in Canada and for the US investors is under OTC. The ticker is NPPTF. I think in Germany F is the FSE, the ticker 1NW, but I'm not totally sure. So in this press release, Neto Digital Assets shared their assets, what they currently have, and will assign value to each of the assets and establish a ratio between the current market cap and the value of the assets that the company possess. So they indicated that they have 349 Bitcoin. That's a value of 33.28 Canadian dollars. All the amounts here are in Canadian dollars because the company is Canadian. They also indicated that they have 31,715 Solana. That equates to a 7.81 million value. They have 193,000 Atom coins. That's 1.19 million. 140 ETH, that's 0.49 million. 50,000 DOT, that's 0.29 million. 1.3 million of GRT tokens, that's 0.15 million. They have an investment in SpaceX of 4.1 million and a cash position of 4.6 million. Note that here that the Neptune indicated that if they have the possibility, they could add to the SpaceX investment by buying additional shares. So the total amount present in this, in this press release is $51.91 million. The company has 127.248 million shares outstanding with a price on Friday, October 25th of 62 cents. That equals to a market cap of 78.9 million. So if you take $78.9 million, which is the market cap, divided by 51.91 million, which is the addition of all the current assets that they have, gives you a ratio of 1.52x, which is extremely low, meaning that the assets are almost equal to the actual market cap of the company and these companies always have a certain ratio between the assets and the market cap what will be the ratio assigned to Neptune digital assets that's the market that will decide that but just give you an, an idea for another stock that we cover here in the channel uh, for solo strategies the ratio is above nine right now and for uh, micro strategies, if you only take in the amount of Bitcoin they have in the balance sheet, I didn't count any cash because it was really tricky to calculate that. If you take the Bitcoin value and the current market cap, the ratio for micro strategy is a little above three. So micro strategy above three, sole strategies about above nine, and Neptune Digital Assets at 1.52. I think it's a no-brainer. This company is undervalued at this stage. I don't know exactly how high the ratio will go, but I consider this a very good opportunity. Keep in mind that, full disclosure, I own Neptune Digital Asset shares. I also own Soul Strategies shares, and I also own MicroStrategy shares and my crypto positions and in also include bitcoin and solana which i believe are the two most important crypto assets for this bull run in 2024 and 2025 now let's move and have a look at the shares keep also in mind that the last statement here the company has no debt and no purchase warrants therefore the value that we have is the current asset value of the company so here we have the 
daily chart of Neptune Digital Assets. Again, the ticker is NDA. And we see that on Friday, October 25th, the price already jumped quite a bit. 19 cents equates to a move of 44.19%. People are getting aware of this company. So before that, on October 24th, the ratio that I just shared was a lot lower, but I think the stock has still upside. I don't know how much, I don't know how quickly it will move. We will have to track it, but we, all, we have all the combination here, volume, price action. We broke this level of 45 cents quite easily on this gap. Volume is important. And like I indicated, once you do the analysis of the assets versus the market cap, they're pretty close to each other. Therefore, there's still quite a bit of upside to the stock just to get a fair valuation of the current assets. And because they're staking Solana, they're going to add to that position. And if the assets go up in price, obviously everything goes up, meaning the asset value total will grow as we go along in the end of 2024 and 2025. Plus we have here the formation of a potential golden cross here very, very soon in the next few days. This is a very, very bullish pattern. We are above resistance levels right now. We'll have a look at what it looks on the weekly chart, but everything looks very, very positive for Neptune Digital Assets. So if we analyze the weekly chart, we have an idea of the future resistance levels for the stock. So 80 cents is the next resistance. After that, it's going to be $1. 120 and above 120 in my opinion is price discovery and that would probably be increments of 20 cents note that we don't have the huge volumes that we saw in uh, november of 2020 january of 2021 so that was a while back but the volumes are starting to increase now as people are getting aware of potentially the discrepancy of assets versus market cap, but also that Neptune Digital is a proxy that has quite a bit of crypto assets and plans to add to those crypto assets in the future for whatever strategy the company decides. Either they issue shares when the premium of the stock is at the maximum or try to see if they can get loans at very low percentages that would allow them to buy assets cheap right now and let them rise in price throughout the end of 2024 and 2025 for this next last phase of the bull run of the cycle. So the potential is there. Have a look and see how the stock will behave. But there's still the possibility of having cheap shares of Neptune digital assets. Obviously, if there's big corrections coming in the next few days, that would be even a better opportunity to grab some shares of this company. Not financial advice. Again, like I indicated, I have already started a position in Neptune. I plan to grow it in the next few days and weeks. So let's see how the stock will behave and I'll try to do updates on these assets as we go along.